Hi, Dad. Hello. <laughs> Going. It looks good. We're getting there. Device. <laughs> Do you want to showcase your device? Okay. <laughs> you guys, he built this thing to help him put up the lights on the house. Um, it's like a little. What would you call that? There you go. So it's basically just like a little leveled, like flat ground so that you can stand on your ladder. Right? Yep. Okay. That's all it is. Perfect. <laughs> he literally just built that this morning. There's a lot of screws in there. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it looks good. Hey, it's taken safely. Exactly. <laughs> so you guys saw what is going on outside, but as far as what is going on inside right now, we are decorating the Disney tree. The tree is up, the lights are on. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, but while we were doing that, while Kayla and I were adding the lights, my mom was pulling out the Disney ornaments that are not Hallmark. So the majority of these are from Disneyland. Some, of course, are vintage and some... Um, like our Disney Starbucks, things like that. So there's a lot in here. Um, we have to add these first and then we will unbox all of the Disney Hallmark ornaments and then add those to the tree. So here's just our, literally the size of our tree. This is the tree box. We have all of the non Hallmark Disney ornaments on here. We have another, some more on another tub and then we still have a whole nother tub of ornaments to open. So let me show you the tree though, before we start adding all of this. So the tree is up. It's a little dark in here right now. Um, I don't really know why it's showing up so dark, but anyway, the lights are on. The tree is is assembled. This tree is a lot different than our other trees when it comes to setting it up. You have to fluff each branch individually and then add them to the pole that goes straight through the middle. So this tree is a little bit different. Like I said, why does it look so dark right there? Oh, well that lights out. <laughs> so we'll have to replace that, but it just looked really dark right in there. That was odd. Okay. Well, anyway, so now we have to add the ornaments. Of course, this is in the Disney room. Um, we have a craft and scrapbook room at our house and it is our Disney themed room. Hence all the Disney stuff. I will probably show you guys all of that later. It's a little messy right now. Um, but for right now, this is what we're doing. This is our morning project. So super excited. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know, or you'll have seen my Disneyland uh, themed birthday party pictures from this year. So a lot of that decor is in here and we need to find temporary homes for some of it because we need the space for the Christmas tree. So like my giant popcorn maker, the cotton candy maker was just kind of hanging out in here just for temporary, you know, storage because we're not used to storing something so large. And I, of course, invested in those for the party. So we um, are going to be putting them in storage in the meantime, you know, just during Christmas. So once Christmas is over and the tree is down, they'll come back into the room as decor. But anyway, yeah. Okay, here's that. Let's add some ornaments. Also, here are the little filler Mickey head ornaments. Disney only sells these ever so often, but we have had these literally since 2008. Um, I think this set maybe like a year or two later. Um, but yeah, basically we just add these after we do all of the other ornaments and they just kind of fill in the gaps. And of course they're Disney themed. They're just little Mickey head ornaments. So some have, you know, just kind of aged not so gracefully. So these are pretty much still the good ones left, but Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those. Okay, so just a quick little update. I was looking at all of the ornaments on the tub and I looked at my mom and I was like, where's the Walt and Mickey partner statue ornament? She's like, oh, you're right. I didn't unbox that one. And I was like, well, I for vaguely remember as having to create a third tub for Disney ornaments. So we just had two. We had the non-Hallmark and we had the Hallmark and they were separated. And I was like, no, it's missing. I know it's missing. Well, we found the tub. There was like garlands and stuff all on top of this. We also have a uh, Hallmark overflow in here as well. I forgot that we had purchased some at one of our local antique stores. There's like a, de a dealer that has um, a lot of Hallmark ornaments. And so we went through all of them to see what Disney ones we didn't have that we really wanted. And this is where we stored them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we stored a uh, Hallmark and non Hallmark in the same tub with garlands, which I don't know why we did that, but we did. <laughs> um, but anyway, here they are. I wanted to show you the other ones that were in this tub and some of these are not new. Some are new. Um, for example, these cuties are from last year. This is also from last year. I got this at the Aladdin musical. Um, it was the Broadway uh, musical, the touring show. 
And uh, this is at our local community center. And Nazi bought us tickets to go see it for my birthday. So, of course, I had to buy an ornament for the Disney tree. So super cute. So I got the little genie lamp. That show was absolutely amazing. Um, but anyway, yeah. So there's just a few on here. Some, of course, are from the parks. These are all from the parks. Uh, this one Sarah got me last year. We call ourselves Buzz and Woody because we, we took um, the little personality test in California Adventure in the Beasts Library. We did it for both male and female characters and both of our male characters were Woody and Buzz. So I got Buzz, Sarah got Woody and so she got me this really cute ornament from Disneyland and they're holding a little Mickey hat. So, so cute. Um, but anyway, yeah. So these are just those, like I said, some are new, some are old. These two are vintage, so anyway. Okay, here are those ornaments. We unlocked a third box. So anyway, we're gonna add these to the tree. I couldn't start without finding that Walt and uh, Mickey statue ornament. That's like the first one I hang. So anyway, okay, that's that. Let's put them on the tree. So just a quick little update. We have cleared the tub of non-Hallmark ornaments, but not Kitty's named Holly. <laughs> She's like, thanks mom for clearing the tub so that I can lay on it now. This is, yeah, really? Okay, anyway, so now that all of the ornaments are no longer here, they are now here on the tree. <laughs> so I have all of the non-Hallmark Disney ornaments on the tree. Um, of course, it goes all the way around, full 360, no cutting corners. This tree is not in the corner of a room, of, as you can see. So, you know, we have to make sure it looks good on all sides. My only complaint about this ornament that I love so much is that it is so dark, so it's hard to see. So I'm like, I'm wondering if we could figure out something to put behind it. Maybe just like a nice bright colored ball or something, like a ball ornament so that you can see that ornament more. So it just really kind of blends in and does look like a really dark spot. So just a heads up if you are thinking about purchasing that ornament from Disneyland or um, I guess it's only at Disneyland because we only have the partner statue. They have a different one at Disney World. Okay, anyway, <laughs> here is what the tree looks like. It looks so good already. And of course we still have more ornaments to add. So we've got our work cut out for us. I have to get the Hallmark tub out now and start unloading all of these boxes of ornaments. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased but this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh oh la 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 oh 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 la 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 oh 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 la 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 Making our Christmas memories for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree and I lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home to me and when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love we'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up these are the good times with you baby this
just a quick update. We have unboxed all of the Hallmark ornaments. There are some really cute ones in here. I'll probably change the focus in just a second and kind of zoom in on some of these. Of course, they are more compacted over here. We've kind of started spreading them out. We didn't know how much room we would need. Um, but yeah, there's so many cute ones in here. I can't wait to hang them. Um, but again, let me show you a couple of my favorites. I did unbox a couple. You guys just saw that. Um, but let me show you a couple others that I did not unbox. Okay, so I know I unboxed this one, but I love this one so much. And if you don't understand the significance of the purple teacup, it's that the purple teacup in Disneyland is the fastest teacup. So I love that they chose purple to put Minnie and Mickey in um, when Hallmark created this ornament. It's really cute. Okay, moving right along. Let's see, I love this one. This is Miko and Flit with Percy. I just love this one. Really fun. We'll set that one there. And let's see, what else do we have over here? Ooh, this one's really pretty. This one is uh, Cinderella's Castle. Super cute. Look at all that glitter. It's on a cute little cloud. Love that. We do need to get some new Hallmark Disney. A lot of ours are pretty older, which is totally okay. Um, but I know that they have a really cute Jungle Cruise one that I want to get this year. Um, let's see. Okay. So next we have this Quasimodo one. He's super cute from Hunchback of Notre Dame. He is hanging on like a string or a rope. So that one is fun to add in like an area that has kind of a gap or something that I can, you know, showcase that he is swinging from uh, one of the bell strings. And then next, of course, we have Asmerelda. She is so gorgeous. I love this one. And then this one was a new find. I was so excited to find this one. We now have a Mulan to add to our tree. Look at how cool she is. I love that. She, oh, that movie is everything. And then of course we have a cute little Mushu. So, so cute. This one is also a new one. We have Megara and Pegasus from Hercules. Pegasus does have a tail. I have the tail in the box, but it came off. I just need to repair it. Um, but I found this one actually at an estate sale and this one had never been taken out of the box along with the little sorcerer Mickey hat. This one does make noise that we have to add some batteries to it, uh, but there's like a little button right there. And so that is super. We also found a John Smith at that same estate sale. So that is what he looks like. And then you saw me unbox the Pocahontas ornament and we actually found a second Pocahontas at that same estate sale. So that estate sale, they were like huge Disney collectors and I just, they had so much money. They lived in a literal mansion and um, we ended up getting so many of their Disney books. Again, like these $80 books that had never been opened for like four to six dollars it was insane but anyway yeah i mean that estate sale i could go on and on about all the stuff we went back like twice it was a whole ordeal but anyway yeah just so many other cute ones steamboat willie we have daisy and donald on a little ski lift with skis and we have minnie and mickey baking cookies so again there's so many but it is now time to officially add them to the tree so enough babbling let's get to work just a quick little update i have added all of the hallmark ornaments to the tree it looks so pretty i still have all of the little filler ornaments to add all of the little Mickey heads. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I did add the topper already while I was up on the stool, putting up the little tiny baby ornaments that are up there. Um, and then of course we just need to vacuum up all of the little pine needles that fell off while we were fluffing the branches and also add the tree skirt as well. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. That's where we're at. Let me add those extra ornament bulbs, add the tree skirt and we'll be out of here. So I took a little break from vlogging this evening, but we did finish the Disney tree. It looks so beautiful. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I just love it so much. The tree skirt is on, the tree topper is on. It just looks so cute. We still have more Christmas decorations to add here in the Disney room, um, but the tree is done. The main part is done and that is the main focal point of the room. So I'm glad and very relieved that this is over. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun, of course, setting it up and decorating it, um, but you know, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to move on to something else in the house. So anyway, yeah, it looks great again. It is all completed and here's just what it looks like. So uh, here's that. Tonight was pretty chill. We had dinner. We went through a few more Disney, or not Disney, we went through a few more Christmas tubs, pulled out a few more things, decorated a couple little areas and we still have our work cut out for us tomorrow. So I think tomorrow I'm going to start working on my room and maybe my office tree. I took tomorrow off from work um, so that I could get some more things done since I knew that um, these three days would not be enough. So. 
Anyway, yeah, again, here's just a quick little close up. I'll probably do like a full on house tour at some point. Um, so you'll get like a more in depth shot and view of the tree then. So anyway, yeah, here's that still lots more to do. Stay tuned. I know I haven't even vlogged myself. I have looked like a gosh darn mess these past few days, but um, I will probably show my face tomorrow in a vlog and uh, kind of catch up with you on a few things. I know I didn't even touch on why we went over to my grandparents uh, yesterday. So yeah anyway lots to talk about tomorrow I'm exhausted though I know today was just basically the Disney tree but that is okay days like this happen um, but again we will definitely do a lot more tomorrow so stay tuned and um, good night Jimmy Cricket says good night good morning so one of my first projects that I'm going to be working on is going to be decorating this hutch this hutch belonged to my great grandma so my mom's grandma and um, yeah, it is one of the only few wooden pieces in our house. We have other wood pieces, of course, but those have been painted or refinished. But this one, we just do not have the heart to paint. <laughs> um, but this is a pretty special hutch in our family since it did belong to her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it decorated. And then if I want to change anything around or do whatever um, I can, but I'll show you at least what I come up with first. Not all these pieces go here. <laughs> They're kind of just sitting here as a catch all. I mean, these pieces go here and uh, maybe a couple of these. Uh, just for clarification, she was decapitated in transit when she arrived. Her head goes on like that. So I need to repair hers. I know it's blurry, uh, but I have this exact same set. And uh, yeah, I bought this from her car and it showed up like that. So a little bummed, but at least it was a pretty clean break. I can repair it. Um, but yeah, that is what we're working with right now. I'll show you some of these pieces a little bit closer up once I do kind of get it set up initially. And then we can go from there. But anyway, good morning. I have this hutch, some more hutches, more tables, things like that. And I I also have my room to decorate as well and my office so stay tuned for all that girly fun um, but for now this is it oh and I also have the Christmas village <laughs> um, but anyway yes focus Lauren this is what I'm working on first and then we'll go from there so just a quick little update I have quite a few pieces already just sitting on here waiting to be placed but I think I'm pretty happy with this so far I still need to unbox a couple things that are in that box, which is actually really funny. Let me change my focus and tell you guys a little bit about that box. Um, of course, I'll talk about it in like a, a haul at some point, but it's pretty special. So I purchased this box and the items in it from a seller on Etsy. And when I saw the box in the picture with the items that were listed, which don't match the box, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this because it comes with the box. And I just was praying, praying, praying that it wasn't like a mistake and that she actually did mean to include the box in the purchase because boxes are pretty valuable in my opinion, just because if you have the whole set and the box, that's even better. Um, so I bought this for the contents that were in it and the box, even though they don't match. So let me show you what's in it though, because there are four items, whereas the front of the box says triplets. So I'll just pull, oh, I don't want them to break. Uh, but inside, I'm gonna set you guys right <laughs> there. So this is just one of four of the little angels that were inside this box. As you can see, one, two, the one I took out, three and four. Um, so this is one of them, she's adorable. They're all super, super cute. So I'm gonna move her from there. Now, the reason I really wanted this box is because one of the first, actually the first vintage item that I ever bought was one of these candy cane triplets. I purchased it from my local antique store and this is her right here. Here she is, a little candy cane triplet. I paid $30 for her, and at the time I was like, oh, that's expensive, but it was my first piece. I was so excited to find one with the candy cane because I love the candy canes. So I bought her, I'd had her for probably about two years or so, and then this year I was like, I need to complete this set of three. So I started doing some online research. I joined a couple vintage Facebook pages and lo and behold, I started putting out some posts for in search of the other two girls and I found two like sellers and somebody responded that they had it and that they would uh, see if they can locate it in all of their tubs and you know, Christmas decor and she was and she was able to sell it to me. She wanted to sell it. She said, you know, I've had it long enough. I wanted to have a good home. You know, I want to pass this along. And so I purchased it from her. She shipped it to me and sold it to me, of course. And now I have the complete set of the candy cane triplet girls. I'm so excited. So I have the three girls and their matching box, which is so amazing. So I love that I got her first and then the box and then this one and then this one. So it kind of was funny how it all worked out, uh, but I'm still so, so happy with it. So I still need to unbox the other three from in here, but this is what we're looking like. I know the, fo the focus is off right now, but just a quick little overview. I have my work cut out ahead of me. 
Just a quick little update. I finished the hutch. I am so happy with it. There are only a couple things that I think I would change or fix, uh, but I need to fix the flowers in the picture. They kind of moved, so they don't look how they're supposed to look right now. And then this little area down here, back by that St. Lucia doll, we have one right here and one right there. Um, I don't know. Everything is just really bold and big, and then it just feels like it's like too small and cluttery right there. Not really cluttery, because like, girl, there's a lot there. But it just... I don't know, it just proportionately um, kind of bugs me a little bit. So I might try and fix that. We still need to add the candles to her. There's like little spots right here to add the little candles. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with it. I am actually pretty proud of this. When I showed my mom, she literally cried. Um, but it's basically a mix of both of our stuff. Um, the majority of it, I would say, is mine. But a lot of it is also my mom's as well. So I would say probably... 60 40 at least um, and then she has stuff on here that I also own as well So we have duplicates of the of the little um, Holly poinsettia salt and pepper shakers and then she's got some other figurines in there as well um, But again, you know, it's kind of a mix. So anyway, I'll probably change my focus on my camera and get a little bit closer and show you some more details So a few hours have passed since that last clip that you just saw, but basically I had some business stuff I had to take care of. I haven't checked any emails or messages since the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one of the two weekends of the year or two time frames of the year, I should say, that I don't check my messages. Um, basically the weekend of Thanksgiving, I don't check it because it's a very busy and special weekend for my family. And then of course, around Christmas time, I do not even look at it. Those are like my two reserved weekends. I always tell my coworkers that December and like, you know, Christmas time is my summer vacation. Like people take vacations at summer, but I would prefer to take time off at Christmas because that's how special it is to me. Um, but anyway, yes, this is where we're at. Basically, you're looking at my pink tree. I've had this tree since I was a child. It's from Kohl's. It's from the brand St. Nicholas Square, uh, but I'm going to get it set up. It's time to decorate my room. I have my box and my tub of ornaments right here that I need to unbox. I also need to remove that cake stand that's right there as well. Um, but basically, like I said, I've had this you know tree since I was an actual child. I don't know what age it was. I'd have to actually look this up, but I'm pretty sure it was probably like pre preteen era. Um, I was very young. My sister even still has her white one that she got at the same time. But it is a four foot pre lit tree from Kohl's. It is pink. It's showing up a lot brighter on the box than it actually is. But I will be surprised if this tree lasts more than three more years because it is on its way out. The cords are, they're looking rough. The branches, you know, they, they're definitely showing their age. But I do have an update. Big Lots actually sold some trees very similar to this starting last year. I don't know if they have them again this year, but they are baby pink. They're snowy. They're super cute. But I purchased two of them last Christmas and I never got around to actually showing them on camera because I never filmed a haul before Christmas. So I probably should show you a clip of them or like a picture of them and include it in this video but I know that they're fairly inexpensive again from Big Lots so I have two of them I really don't want to open them anytime soon because I am kind of saving them for when I move and in, in my own home um, but for now this tree works it still looks great I still love it it still does the job and it's perfect so again until this thing actually goes kaput and dies on me then I will be sticking with it until then you know this is what we're working with but 
If it does die, I will, of course, switch over to one of those trees. If they have more trees, I probably should think about getting another one just in case this one dies. That way I can still have two that are really nice. My vision for having the two, you know, stay in the boxes because I always thought, oh, they'd be cute, like flanking a fireplace or something. Anyway, okay, I am just like babbling at this point, my thought process on the trees. But what we're going to do, we're going to get this tree set up. Then I'm going to show you all the ornaments laid out. I don't think that I'm going to like unwrap them just because it takes a little bit of time. And uh, I want to be able to, of course, edit, you know, these vlogs and whatnot. So cutting those clips and showing you know the unwrapping process does take a little bit of time and I don't know if it's all that entertaining rather than just seeing them all laid out and of course I do have some new ones so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do those because those of course have not been in any, in any haul videos so maybe I'll hold on to those you know and not put them on my tree yet and just work with what I have and then add them after the haul video but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now so maybe I will just leave some spots on the trees for those ornaments and then once I actually do the video then I can just add them to the tree you know what I mean and just work with what I have so anyway I have a lot of space to work with. I'm going to set my tree up over here and then lay out all the ornaments, you know, of course, to the left. <laughs> so let's get this tree unboxed. The lighting here looks a little funky. Maybe I'll bring in like another lamp or something just so it's not so funny looking. It looks a little funny on the screen. Anyway, you've been staring at my tree and listening to me babble for far too long. So let's get this tree up and let's get these ornaments out. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go. without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just get better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and happy. So that was just a quick little overview of the ornaments that I have for my pink tree. I have so many new ones that I do not want to pull out quite yet since I still need them for some haul videos. So I'll be sure to showcase those in a future Vlogmas and also a haul video as well. So I do have quite a few new ones that I'm excited to add to this tree. Uh, but so far this is it. They do look a little spread out this year for some reason. I'm like, I feel like I'm missing some and I still feel like I do, but I looked back at pictures and I it doesn't appear that I am. So um, yeah, I'll definitely keep my eyes out for more in case I had uh, packed them in a different tub, which is very unlikely of me. But anyway, yeah, here they are. If you guys have any questions on where they're from, uh, definitely let me know. I'll try my best to um, try and remember all the stores, but mostly Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. Some of them are antique like this one. Um, this one is like a new vintage one, like a reproduction. Same with those two. Um, so yeah, so variation, Kohl's, Hobby Lobby, some vintage stores, World Market is in here a couple times. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Those are the stores I frequent the most. So that's usually where the majority of all this stuff is from. This one is like from Charming Charlie's before they closed or Charming Charlie. Um, which I'm actually kind of in a dilemma about this one. I think I put it on my tree for the last time, for, for the first time last year, excuse me. But his eye kind of creeps me out. He looks like that old internet unicorn video on YouTube. I don't know if you guys remember that. But anyway, his little tiny beady eye kind of creeps me out a little bit. Like I love all of the colors and everything else about him. He's all white with a pink mane, pink tail, gold glittery wings, and then like a white glittery body with gold hooves. Like it's just so cute, a little gold horn. But those eyes, I'm thinking about taking a Sharpie and just making like one like black dot eye, like not fill up the whole eye socket area, but just like one solid dot, not so teeny tiny. So I don't know. I'm going to like edit the photo first on my phone and see if it would even look good before I go and do it. But anyway, yeah, these are just my little ornaments uh, that I have for my tree. Again, lots more to add from this year. But for now, this is it. I'll be sure to show you the rest when I add them to the tree. 
So here is what my tree looks like. I am so happy with it. The lighting here is of course off because it is nighttime. So I will definitely record some clips of it in the daytime as well, but I am super happy with it. I really like it. So I left some room around the back side so that I can move some of these ornaments here in the front that I don't want to keep there when I go to add my new ones. I can move them around the back side and then that way they'll still be on my tree and I don't have to pack them away, but I can enjoy them until I go and add the new ones after the haul video. So. Anyway, yeah, I'm super excited. Unfortunately, this tree has to be a 360 degree uh, tree as far as decorations go because I have the mirror here that shows the reflection of the tree. So there are some here that I'm going to be rotating, like I said, once I get the new ones, but I'm happy with it. I think it turned out great. Super, super in love with it. And again, this tree is still going strong. So there are, of course, some wire issues here and there. Um, like in this little area, the wires are all kind of combobulated, but that's okay. It does the job. I still love it and of course we're still going strong so yeah anyway here's that I'm going to hopefully pull out some more decor like the decor that goes along here so I will definitely probably end up doing that tonight but for now here's that if I pull out any more tonight I will definitely let you know Okay guys, so we are at Mima and Papa's. We are going to be decorating their Christmas tree. Kaylin set it up and it is all put together. It is a pre-lit white tree, but we are going to be adding colored lights, which we add every year. Um, but here's that. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, this box is no um, secret or no <laughs> unfamiliar thing to you. I kind of talk about it uh, in every Vlogmas, but it's a box that I look forward to seeing every year. Kaylin and I colored on a bunch of these paper boxes back when we were kids and they house my grandparents' Christmas decor. And uh, yeah, I just love seeing it. It's so silly and I love that she still has and still stores things in it. Um, but we're going to start unloading all of the ornaments now. And this box does not have ornaments in it, but um, I just wanted to point out, you know, how cute the box is because I love it. It just reminds me of my childhood. So anyway, yeah, I think Kaylin was the one that did this one. I think it says like Kaylin or something. Yeah, Kaylin, age seven, almost eight this Christmas. <laughs> so anyway, we're here with me, mom and papa. I'll show them later if they want to be shown. But yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, and this one, this one's super cute too. So we think that this might have been my box um, with the snowman. It doesn't say my name specifically, but this does kind of look like something I would draw, especially with like the little buck teeth. I don't know why, but I did draw that. They're like the American girl teeth. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. So here is that box and uh, we have our work cut out for us. Okay guys, we added the color lights. Now it is officially time to add the ornaments. It just looks so much better with the colored lights. Every year we're like, oh, it looks so pretty all white, but I don't know, those colored lights are just, they make it fun. They pop. They do. <laughs> so we have officially unboxed the ornaments. We think that that is all of the ornaments to unbox, uh, but we have a lot here on this table. So I have my work cut out for me. I'm pretty perfectionisty about ornaments. So that's why I say I have my work cut out for me because sometimes it's just easier just to do it all by yourself <laughs> rather than moving ornaments out of the way and rearranging somebody else's work. So anyway, here's table one. We have some more over here on a tub. And then we have some over here as well on the piano too. So here are the few on the piano and I actually forgot that we have more on another little table over here as well. So we've got a couple here and then let me take you over here. And then this little round table is actually quite packed with ornaments as well. So like I said, we have a lot of work to do. Let me rephrase that. I have a lot of work to do. And yeah, I'm hoping of course to get this done tonight. Uh, that is always the goal. So Let's try and knock this out in one night. I finally finished Mima's tree. All of the ornaments are on and it looks beautiful. We still need to add the tree skirt and of course the angel, which Papa is going to do in just a minute, but it looks so beautiful. I just always love how colorful her tree is and it's so full of so many Santas. Mima collects Santas and I love her collection so much. They're just so beautiful, but Anyway, yeah, it looks good. I'm really excited to add the tree topper, which of course I will record. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I can't believe we finished it in one night. That was actually really nice. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to kind of show you it is again, full 360 as far as decorations go on the tree. So anyway, yeah, looks beautiful. Just some more angles. We want all the angles, <laughs> but anyway, that is her tree. We still have to kind of put back her room together because there's like tubs and boxes everywhere. And also we have this little munchkin. Huh? You want to say hi? Oh, it is really dark. <laughs> hi, Mulligan. Hi, pretty boy. 
You stole my chair. <laughs> anyway, so Mulligan's been hanging out with us. That's their cat's name. <laughs> if you're familiar with golf, you'll understand. He got a second chance at life. My grandpa found him on the golf course. So anyway, yes, there's that. Okay, beautiful tree, but now it is time to add the angel topper. <laughs> Kaylin over here spotting him. <laughs> She looks good from here. She looks good from here. <laughs> there you go. Just position just right. Your little wings have to be perfect. We're a family of perfectionists. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. She, she looks, looks beautiful. Good. I she love looks it. She looks good. She looks good. Look at that. Good job, Papa. Good job. <laughs> Wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Stop running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas And outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you